creating notebooks for data exploration, for creating educational content, or even writing full-blown research papers is always fun. But to make sure that the content is reproducible across all systems is kind of tricky. With NBA Reproduce, we're trying to solve some of these issues. The main motivation behind NBA Reproduce is to make sure that domain experts who are not necessarily DevOps or programming experts are able to create reproducible content from their research projects, even with tools like Conda and Pip available locally, to make sure that the local environment is set up correctly across different uh, systems is hard. The current use case of uh, NB Reproduce is to make sure that we have a one click or one command reproduction of a research paper or a replication of a research paper in a containerized environment. The figures that we get today from running a script or a notebook should be the same figures that we get 10 years down the line. And with NB Reproduce, we try to achieve that. The main features of NB Reproduce is that it lets you reproduce a notebook inside a container, which is created using a Docker image. It also lets you start up a Jupyter Lab instance inside a Docker container, which again builds upon a Docker image. And it also lets you reproduce entire projects using a bash file, some sort of a make file. Uh, it doesn't just need to be a notebook. It could be it could be a C file. It could be some Julia code. It could be latex files. It could be the paper itself that needs to be compiled. And uh, NB reproduce is available on PyPy and you can install it using pip install and reproduce. It does require Docker to be installed locally. So if you're on Windows or Mac, there is Docker, de Docker desktop available for you. And if you are on Linux, you have Docker in engine available for you. And let's have a quick demo of NB reproduce. So NB reproduce can fetch uh, URLs. It can fetch, uh, it can run local, uh, and notebooks. So in this case, we fetch a URL from GitHub, which is just a, is a hello world example of a notebook. And when we do, when we run this command, it will download the Jupyter notebook from the uh, from the URL. It will try to execute the notebook inside a, inside a container using this environment. And if you if you look at this thing, it, it says Jupyter SciPy notebook latest. Uh, it's one of the standard. Uh, Docker images from the Jupyter Docker stacks, and NB Reproduce knows to look for this image because NB Reproduce uh, inserts uh, in, inserts a Docker image tag inside every notebook in the metadata. If, if we look at the raw format of this uh, hello world.ip NB notebook, which is available here, if you, if you look at the metadata, you could see this tag Docker image, and it points towards this. Uh, uh, Docker image which is hosted on Docker Hub. And we can see that it, it has executed the notebook and by default, NV Reproduce will create an, a copy of the image and it will uh, append reproduce at the end of, at the, end of the uh, name of the notebook. And uh, we can also open up the notebook to see how it looks like, the reproduced one. When we click on it, it will Yep, this is how it looks like. So we have the images are oops, the images are reproduced, and we can see them here. The other feature of NB Reproduce is that you can start up uh, you can start up a Jupyter Lab or Jupyter uh, Notebook instance. By default, if we do NB Reproduce Live, it will start up a Jupyter Lab instance, and just just like how you start up a Jupyter Lab on in the command line. Uh, you, 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 let's wait for URL. So, so, so NB Reproduce Live will start a Jupyter Lab instance inside the Docker container. So you have the environment available from the Docker container rather than your uh, laptop or your desktop. Our URL here, right here. Let's click on this, and this will open up a Jupyter Lab instance. And let's go into work. By default, it, it names the directory as work. And this can be changed. But uh, uh, as we click on the notebook, we can see we have a reproduced notebook available. We also have this folder pandemic, which will have a little bit later. 
and we have Hello World, which was our original fetched uh, notebook. Let's close this thing. And the third feature that uh, I would like to show is it just doesn't work with notebook. It also works with full blown research projects. For example, this is this is the this is the code behind uh, a research paper. Let's look at the the reproduce file, the reproduce bad script. And you can see that in, in this part of the core, in this part of the batch file, we recreate all the figures and the results using the Python using the Python script. Then we compile the paper itself, and then we also compile the content uh, the slides of the paper. To reproduce this folder, we just put in NB reproduce and it will start the process. As the code takes a lot of time, let's close this for the time being and let's go back to our slides. So th there are some similar ideas as compared to when we reproduce. There's a tool by Google called Caliban, which works some sort of in some sort of similar way where you can have notebooks inside Docker containers running locally and you can dispatch those notebooks to Google Cloud Talk platform if you want, like, for example, more compute power. Then there are some geospatial uh, specific Docker environments uh, which build on top of Docker, uh, to build Docker stacks. And then and there are probably many more ideas like this. And for future work, the, the, the project is currently under active development and we would love to get more ideas for improvements and contributions from the community. Feel free to open up any GitHub issues for discussions or send a pull request or even contact me. If you, uh, if you have any ideas how we can improve this project, uh, the link is available here for the project itself, and the second one is for the documentation of this project. Thank you.